So patients with Parkinson's disease can have both motor as well as non-motor symptoms. Most of these patients are senior citizens, many of them. They can have difficulty in swallowing. They can have slurred speech. They would not have seen their father or mother into that state ever in their life. Hi, I am Dr. Vikash Agarwal, Senior Neurologist and a Movement Disorder Specialist working at Trela Hospital. Hello, I'm Dr. Shubha Subramanian, Consultant Neurologist at Trela Hospital. So patients with Parkinson's disease can have both motor as well as non-motor symptoms. The motor symptoms will be resting tremors, stiffness, slowness of all activities. They can also have difficulty in gait and balance because of which they have frequent falls. All these things put together leads to difficulty in carrying out activities of daily living. Some of the non-motor symptoms can be generalized fatigue, uh, difficulty in sleep. They can also have non-specific pain because of rigidity as well as muscle cramps. They can have difficulty in swallowing. They can have slurred speech, change in handwriting, excess of salivation or salivation control, mood disturbances in the form of anxiety, depression. So when we talk about treatment of Parkinson's disease, we talk about medical treatment and surgical treatment. Medical treatment has been the gold, gold standard in treatment and levodopa is still the gold standard treatment for Parkinson's disease. In our armamentarium now, there are newer drugs like opicapone or safinamide or other medications are added. But by and large, a patient will need levodopa if the patient is in a bit of moderate to advanced stage of Parkinson's disease. When the patient is in early stage of Parkinson's, say stage one or stage two, uh, in that stage with exercise and some dietary modifications and along with some dopamine agonistic medication alone, without using levodopa, we can manage. So nowadays there is a shift in the practice where many uh, you know movement disorder specialists they do introduce levodopa in low dosages in early stage of the disease so that even if along with other medications like dopamine agonist the patients can get best of their motor abilities. Patients with Parkinson's disease can also have sleep disturbances. This is one of the non-motor symptom in a Parkinson's disease patient. They can have insomnia, that is difficulty in falling asleep. They can have excessive daytime sleepiness. They can have vivid dreams. They also have dream enactment behavior, meaning the patient acts out their dream. That's a very good question actually, because uh, when we talk about Parkinson's and treatment, we talk about caregiver support and uh, uh, a caregiver at some point of time, they will become burnt out. So it is very important that along with the patient, the caregiver is also motivated and uh, the caregiver uh, should be fully into uh, the, you know, uh, the taking care of. Most of these patients are senior citizens, many of them, and they, did, they do, do need a lot of emotional support. And this is a problem when it happens when the Parkinson's patient is having a lot of psychological issues or psychiatric issues or neuropsychiatric issues. At that point of time, sometimes the caregiver may get de-energized or they may feel very low because of certain behavioral aspects of the Parkinson's patient because they would not have seen their father or mother into that state ever in their life. So which again can be an emotional trauma to the caregiver. The best way is to understand that every day is a new day. So if something is wrong today, tomorrow it's going to be good. Something is bad and low today, tomorrow it is going to be good. So hope is everything.